Hello and welcome to, I think, what's our ninth or tenth tutorial? I'm not sure. So in this tutorial, we're actually going to be looking at the remove or the delete function. Um, we need to be very, very cautious when using this function. Um, in some cases, you may not even want to use the delete function. What you may want to do is you want to move your data from one table to another table, or you could say active or archived you know using like a bit value which we can go into that more later um, but ultimately what I try to say here though is, is be very careful when you're removing records from your database make sure that you actually need to remove that record um, and make sure that you only remove that specific record and not wipe out your entire database which I have seen done um, by professionals so don't feel bad if you do it because it has happened. I have done it myself once in my entire 15 years as a developer. I have accidentally wiped out a database once. Now, I did have a backup and it was only two hours old so we were good, but it's still very frustrating when you make this mistake. So make sure that you write these correctly and they are tested on your test server before you take them to a production server. So, to perform a delete statement or remove something, we're going to type the keyword delete. And then we need to know what table we're removing from. So in this case, we're going to remove from the error log. And then this is where our ID value will come in handy. I want to remove this record number six. So I'm going to grab this in here, and here's my statement. So it says delete, and I'm going to delete from the error log table where column error ID, error, where, if I can talk, where error log ID equals six. So I'm looking for record six. This is the record that I want to remove. This is the record that will be removed. So I'm going to go ahead and execute. And now that I've redone my select statement that we have already pre-written here, we can see that that this log or this record has been removed. It's no longer there. You cannot get it back. It's gone forever. There's no way to recover this unless we had backed up the database. So that's how you perform delete or removing a record. We can go ahead and we can remove some more records if you'd like for practice. So let's try using a different column. So error severity is still somewhat unique. I don't recommend using columns such as these. I always recommend using an ID, um, but for practicing purposes, because we know we're not gonna break anything, let's go ahead and just try it with this so you can see how we can use something other than an ID to remove a record. So we'll go ahead and remove this first record because this is the only one that has severity number two. And you can see that it's gone now too. All right, so that's pretty much all there is for deleting records. Again, practice it with caution. Um, you know, obviously use this on a test server. Never take this to a production server unless you're 100% confident that your, uh, your query is correct and that's exactly what you want to do.